Today we are going to look at procedural rubber material in Blender and this is some kind of a, yeah worn uh, old rubber as you can see here we got some dents we got some some crazy texture and yeah overall uh, a, a nice material I would say so if you don't want to follow the whole thing I have um expanded this one so you can snip it print it or whatever and just throw it onto your materials if you want to stay for a while then we will jump right into it and i will explain all of the different choices that i do so let's just uh, yeah let's duplicate it actually and we'll take this away so we get more focus on this material and what we'll do is we'll take it away now we are starting from scratch from this kind of knob or rubber thing new material and here we go let's put it up a bit and zoom in so we can see what we are doing what i want to start with is a noise texture and I want to duplicate it three times and I want a color ramp let's duplicate that three times as well and yeah, we can move it a bit to the side and then we'll do a bump and guess what we'll duplicate that two times so we have three and let's just drag it a little bit to the side and what we'll add next is a mapping node object into the vector and yeah that's it vector here and link it up link everything up here this is kind of the boring thing until we start to work on the material color into the height on all of the bumps oh maybe it's a little bit small for you uh, I don't know after the YouTube compression and all of that you, that you can see it but here's a little bit closer image bump normal into the normal and we got some crazy stuff on top here what we'll first we'll do is do black rubber we can change the color if we like but I like the black one and we can start with the first noise texture and what we'll do here is add some overall texture this is kind of a trick that is good to add some realism to your models uh, just to add some some small small uh, imperfections to the material itself so we can bump up the scale here maybe 26 detail must be all the way up and roughness i think we can do maybe point uh, let's do 0.7 and put the scale a little bit down again and the strength is way too much and the distance we put 0.1 let's just go here um, so it doesn't look too bad but I think we can do a little bit better so let's see if we increase so this is a bit of tuning you know you never get the same result twice when you're working here so i actually think that we should do the roughness maybe 0.9 which looks good you can see here we got some texture that adds to the whole realism uh, the scale i think the scale is good on 16 let's proceed with the scratches or the dents or or yeah if you threw this on the uh, a little bit rough ground you would chip away at the material so that's what what we are adding now um let's check the scale and what i like to do is control shift and press on the color ramp so you see just the black and white that you're working with 
think we should bump up the scale and the detail all the way up. Roughness. Yeah, I think we should do roughness maybe. I think 0.5 is good. Good here. And we will just tweak it again. Like this. Maybe it's too much, but uh, that depends on what your choice is on how, how damaged the rubber should be. So let's see what we got. Mm. Now, are they pointing outwards or inwards? It's hard to tell sometimes. Just press inward and see what happens. Uh, and we'll give it a second. Yeah, it was outwards the first time. Now it actually looks decent. What I like to do is I think the edges here are a little bit too sharp. So I go from linear to ease to smoothen the edges out a bit. But that's also up to you if you have a knife, for example. Uh, is, it <laughs> is it smoother? I think it's smoother there. And if we... Oh, that's a bit too much. And if we just tune the, the strength, I think 0.35 is, is okay. And 0.1 on this, you can see the edge here. It's actually so it chipped away and then it has stayed for a while and actually rounded off the edges if you have been rolling this material around. So it's nice to, to, to give your materials a, a, a bit of story when you are working like this. And I think that this damage looks yeah, pretty good. It looks real. It's not, I think if you don't do, do, the, do the, um, the settings here, you will um, have these sharp edges and it's not really realistic, so to say. You can also, if you want, add some distortion. Just some, some slight distortion if you want that. But... I think we'll leave it. So I think it looks better this way. Now let's go to the next and the last bump. Uh, and give it some time again, you know. The last one is actually a mistake by me. It's not a noise texture. We are going to add a wave texture. And I just want to add some more details. I want to add the lines here as if it was, um, you know, this lathe and uh, this tool. It's a lathe that is spinning the part around and then you are shaving off the material. I wanted to create some, some kind of laid lines or, or something like that just to give it a little bit more. So let's, is it Y or is it set? Let's see. Let's give it some time to work, to work. It's set then, then we'll get these uh, vertical lines, no, horizontal lines. Yeah, come on, come on, yes, here we go. And I would like to uh, control shift on the color amp to get black and white. And we'll go from here. It's a lot of tuning. I think we need to bump the scale, maybe 200. I, I think 200 works. Uh, detail, detail scale. I think we need to add some distortion first. How much do we want to go? Is this good? A detail scale, detail roughness. I think it's hard to tell when you're doing it like this, but we need to go here and see what it looks like. Damn. I think we need to shade smooth. Why is these lines showing up now? I think maybe it's due to the strength. Yeah. So let's put point 0.1. I th don't think it's any point of doing it too far. These lines are a little bit too distinct. So I think we will throw on some 
extra distortion and that looks great I don't th I think we're gonna leave it there you can kind of see some lines and there is a blurriness and this is what it looks like in the black and white view for the color ramp and what is remaining I think the roughness so what we'll do I think we take this one and go to roughness and voila come on three two one and there we go wow it looks even better than the other one I did so this looks even more dirty and I like it if you would like a a newer material it you can follow this one let me just bring it up this is kind of the first try here and it looks a little bit newer but a little bit beat up as well and this looks like it has been staying for three more years so is there anything else to add i don't think so so i want to thank you for um, watching this video and i'll see you in the next one if you got any comments or questions, just leave them down below and I'll reply as quick as possible. So thank you and have a nice day.